It's the second arson attack this week on a property that had been linked to asylum seekers, although falsely, following the burning out of the former nursing home in Crooksling in County Dublin and the 18th such arson attack since January of last year. There is a pattern to these arson attacks whereby false information and rumours are first posted online, encouraging small groups of people to protest and criminals to commit arson. And while there have been a small number of arrests and files have been sent to the DPP, there is a growing perception that those committing these crimes are not being caught, which in turn is encouraging others to commit acts of arson and discouraging owners to make their properties available to accommodate those seeking international protection. Paul Reynolds, RTE News, Leakslip, County Kildare.